Hello there and welcome to this tutorial designing Mushra tests and other listening tests using Web Mushra and Pi Mushra. Mushra stands for multiple stimuli with hidden reference and anchor. And Mushra tests are designed to compare the audio quality of several test conditions with intermediate impairments to a high quality reference. Audio Labs Erlangen developed here this framework for designing Mushra experiments using the Web Audio API. So here you find this um, Web Audio API based uh, experiment application and there is also a Python web application which hosts the web mushroom experiments and collects the data with Python. In our case, we are going to use Google Colab environment, so it makes it easier to share this tutorial and you can try remotely. But this tutorial should also work in your local machine. And the concepts of uh, Google Colab notebooks are the same as Jupyter notebooks with a few differences. If you're not familiar with Google Colab notebooks or Jupyter notebooks, there is a playlist of tutorials called Introduction to Google Colab for Research. And I cover from basics of how to use Google Colab to more advanced topics. And most of them are the same for Jupyter notebooks running on your local machines. There are certain differences, but I talk about these differences in these tutorials. So let's go back to our Colab environment. And the first thing what we're going to do is to install Web Mushroom and Pi Mushroom. And here at the GitHub of the Web Mushroom and Pi Mushroom, you'll find the documentation on how to install. So we are creating a directory called DB. Then we are cloning the Web Mushroom and the Pi Mushroom from their Gits. And then we're installing Pi Mushroom using pip. So this is what we're doing in this first cell here. Next, we are using Google Colab environment in a remote machine. And to access our web application, we will need to tunnel the application that will be running on the local host, wherever the server is. And we want to access it using a public URL. Therefore, we are going to use ngrok. For that, you need to have an account in um, ngrok you can have a free account for our purposes here is more than enough and if you're not familiar with http tunneling or tunneling in general or with ngrok i also offer a tutorial that is embedded in this notebook and you can take a look on how to configure the http tunneling using ngrok here we install in Py and Grok using pip, and here we are configuring our tunneling. So we're importing and Grok from Py and Grok. Here you need to set your authorization token that you get from your and Grok account. Let me see if I can show you here. So this is my and Grok page, and here I have my out token, and I can copy from here and paste it right here. Then we are going to connect using port 5000 and I'm just adding this admin here to the public URL that ngrok generates for us because we can access different Mushroom experiments. We can also access the results. We can assess which tests we run, we want to run and it lives in this admin space. So I have configured my tunneling. So what I can do now is to print this public URL that will give me a public URL where I access the server and I will start the PyMushroom server. So this is my public URL. So it's tunneling localhost on port 5000 to this URL here. And in fact, ngrok will give you just until here. And I added this admin. So when I click here, I go to this admin page. So I can click here. And it opens this page here. I previously did some experiments and I have already some results from previous tests here. I can show experiments. And there are many examples that comes when you install Web Mushroom. So for example, let's run a Mushroom with no loop. So now we have this Mushroom test, different conditions, 
we have here a reference you can play back and I can listen to the conditions and I'll say this okay and so on you can put your test description here we can personalize all these parts here then we click next thank you for attending send the results and then thank you for your participation and then we have the results here and you can decide to display the results or not we have many ways how to configure and personalize this test set some things to show up or not